One success. One, two stress. That wasn't much stress. After dinner, I'm walking back to my room with Alan in Virginia when I notice a small box sitting in front of the door. Another box? Oh, it's playing the mischievous music, too. Is this going to be full of poop? Yeah. Oh, not again. She pulls back a foot to kick the offending object, then pauses. Hey, Rain, this one's for you. Me? I peer down at the box. Sure enough, it says, To Rain, in flowing letters. Nothing about who sent it. Is this another one of Donald's tricks? Why would he send it to me? Open the box! It's Damien, open it. I don't know no why anyone choice. would send me a present, but I don't know why anyone would send me a prank either. Well, I gotta know what's in the box, Tim. Yeah, like, do you want the prize? What's in the box? Yes. Let's see what it is. I pick it up. Too heavy for clothing. It opens up here. It's... Oh. It's a pie! Oh. Cool! It's a poison pie. I'm so glad she didn't kick it now. <laughs> a golden flaky pastry... Uh, I never know how to say that word, if it's lattice or lattice or whatever. I know what it is, but yeah. It's like crisscrossing. You know how pies sometimes have like that crisscross top? Yeah, it's the basket woven thing. Yeah, that's like what it means. It's just I never know how to say that damn word. I, I, I like how what's her name is like in shock. Like, I must steal this pie. She's like, <laughs> oh no, I wish I had been here without you a minute ago. <laughs> yes. Like that would have been uh, online. <laughs> covers a filling of spice fruit, probably apple. Probably a trick still. But how did it get here? Obviously Magic? they. Magic. <laughs> yeah, obviously they teleported it from the apple thing. Well, it said floating letters. Maybe it was like. Overing letters? It said flowing. I was thinking it was just written in like elegant writing. Uh, I thought maybe it was like, like, an, I don't know, like, like an really thing. I was thinking like really fancy cursive. Nah, you're not thinking techy enough. Sorry, I write in cursive, Tim. I can't help it. I write in, I write in, in text. All right, <laughs> in text. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> I write purely with emoticons. Winking smiley face. <laughs> uh, some upperclassman must have brought it from the festival, I guess. Whoa. Maybe it's from William. Why would he be sending rain a pie? Uh -oh. Jealous. <laughs> Jealous blush. What? Our rain isn't good enough to send a pie to. Ellen looks away. Oops, Virginia doesn't know about Ellen's crush on William, does she? He would probably have left a note if it were him. Maybe it was Isabel taking pity on us poor freshmen. Do we have a fridge or anything? Oh. That cheered her Ellen up. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you're right. I'll totally latch onto that. <laughs> nope, yes. you're gonna have to eat it. <laughs> Put it in the fridge. And when you turn your back, you can't eat a whole pie. I still say it's a trap pie. Eat the whole pie. No, I, I totally have to share it. Yeah, that's too much pie. Yeah. Well, I'd feel like a dick if I didn't share it. That too. It can be two things. Yeah, of course not. We'll share. Let's go back to the cafeteria and find some plates and forks. I still say it's a trick pie. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't even know if I like apple pie. I've never eaten it. What? How can he have never had a pie? Had apple pie? That's like a requirement of American culture. I'm not American. Aren't you supposed to be from which culture? I'm American first. Oh. I grew up here just as much as you guys did, you know. That's why she's got red hair. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought those were worms. <laughs> I was thinking like Raggedy Ann hair. Yeah. They're probably going for like dreadlocks or something or curly super curls. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, if you aren't sure, this is the perfect time to try some, right? If you don't like it, Virginia will eat your share. You bet. That's true. If you don't like it, you didn't pay for it. That's what I should have said. <laughs> we split the pie amongst us, and it is delicious. And then we all throw up. <laughs> I'm thinking diarrhea. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm kind of surprised just, that one. The game just I, doesn't mention it. <laughs> I, I, I guess it wasn't a prank. I thought for sure it was. I, I want to say it's Damien... Well, if we get food poisoning, maybe we'll wake up and feel terrible. Maybe. Stress oh. through the roof. <laughs> you also look weird. Yes. Or it's like, that was, uh, <laughs> that was Grabner's pie. Ten more demerits. 
Like, you stole my pie. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> it left it outside of her door. Lies. <laughs> An obvious ruse. Everyone knows you steal. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> All right. Hey, our blue got up to 10. I didn't even pay attention. I awaken on Monday to a sharp rap on the door. I'm having fun, Tim. Are you having fun? No, that's why I'm here. <laughs> mm, who do you think that is? Do you think we should guess? Or do uh, you think it should be non-committal voice? Non-committal voice, because that just seems weird. Yeah. Miss Middleton, if you please. Startled. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was great. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> St startled, Ellen hurries to the door. I can hear voices outside while I finish getting dressed. Ellen, of course, and someone more baritone. What's going on? Is she in trouble? Surely not Ellen. A few minutes later, she returns to the room, clutching a large folder stuffed with papers. What was that about? Nothing. Just election stuff. So you are running. Oh, did we forget to tell you that? She slaps Ellen on the back. I told you she's the kind of person that would do that. Yep. She's my girl. Okay. It's nothing. I won't win. And so modest, too. Anyway, we need to get ready for class. She's right. We do need to decide on our schedules for the week. What should I do? Well, we're not stressed out anymore. Yeah, so I, just, I say we continue going the straight path. All right. I'm just worrying, worrying if, wondering if Black's ever gonna come back to bite us. But maybe it'll go up more this week now that we're not distressed. Yeah. We'll see. If we start getting to a point where something's only going up by one, then maybe I'll double up or something. But I don't really want to neglect anything, so I don't really want to skip a class. Like skipping green last week didn't seem like a bad idea because it was so far ahead. Yeah, but it's, now it's everything's still okay. yeah, Black's but now everything's more even. Yeah. So let's see. Maybe we just suck at black because we don't know how to play with magic stuff. Oh, that was because you were white. <laughs> Warm, three mana. Add heat to the caster's current square, raising temperature slightly. That's a useless spell. Uh, if you're freezing, it could be useful. I guess. I guess. <laughs> but, don't throw but, logic into this, Tim. But, but in the summer, it's absolutely useless. It's 80 degrees out, Tim. I don't want to learn how to make myself warm. <laughs> don't you want to sweat? <laughs> no. Early in the morning, there's a rustle at the door. Ellen jumps out of bed as if she'd been waiting for that. More election things. <laughs> she returns holding some large sheets of... No, these are posters and a box on top of them. What's that? It's campaign stuff. Let me see. Inside the box is a pile of purple construction paper cut into shapes and a little plastic container full of straight pins. I pick up one of the shapes and turn it around. It's a horse pulling a carriage. Written on it in shining silver ink are the words Ellen Middleton for treasurer. The posters are more of the same. Horses and carriages and dollar signs and treasure chests. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Ellen Middleton, the dependable draft horse. I need to put these posters up. I'm supposed to hand out the badges. Well, help. Won't we rain? Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we should help. Yeah. I'm not doing anything right now. Sure. Really? Thanks. Plus, we gotta stay on her good side or she'll start stealing stuff from us. Yes. And if Virginia's brother gets mad at us, he'll put poop in our shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. I'll take the posters and you guys take the badges. Ah, oh, she's doing the hard work. But there's only six posters. Oh, <laughs> okay. I take it back. <laughs> Tons of these little paper things. That's why there's two of you. The posters need to go up high, and I have longer arms. And Ellen's the candidate, so she has to hand out those in person. Or she has to hand out, yeah, hand those out in person. But see ya. <laughs> she takes the posters and hurries off before anyone can argue with her. She just wants the easy job. You don't have to stay. No, I said I'd help, and I will. Come on. Ellen and I spend the next hour catching passerby, introducing Ellen as a candidate and giving them paper badges to pin to their robes. 
I'm sure it's a good way to get her name out there, but it's tiring and boring. Oh. By five. Still not that high, though. But everything else just goes up like one or two. Damn, we're so good at blue. The huh? hair totally gives us secret blue powers. Blue's our favorite color. That's probably why. Yeah. It's a shame, though, because I kind of want the other ones to go up high. <laughs> On Wednesday morning, campaigning is still in full swing. All the candidates, not just in my year, but the upperclassmen too, have taken up positions on the main quad, calling out to everyone who passes and handing them colorful bits of paper. Ooh, sparklies. The... You saw that too. It's loud and crowded and confusing. Some of the older candidates are spraying magic sparkles over their heads to try and draw more attention to themselves, which just makes it worse. Angela for president. Kurgan for secretary. Vote for Jacob. I can see Ellen in the distance looking slightly overwhelmed while William beside her dutifully bellows in her service. I'm buffeted from place to place and decorated with pins and ribbons, mostly from people I don't even know in elections and I'm not eligible to vote in. Class starts to sound like a welcome relief. Yeah. No one cares about green. <laughs> well, we learned Here's how to heal injuries. people. Uh, like living ah. target? Aw. But I want to heal a non-living target. What if dead people have upset stomachs? Yeah, man. Like that vampire girl. Alright. One black magic, one stress. Inscription. Write or remove words from a target object. I can do that. It's called writing. Oh. I can do that too. It's called whiteout and an eraser. Yeah. <laughs> Or if you really want to remove the writing, just blow it open. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's better than white out. <laughs> I don't I, know. I guess. And maybe we could write on anything, so we could write in like stone and stuff instead of on it. I don't know. Whatever. We're inscribing. Let's just look at it that way. Maybe. Although oh, it's it's for, for tattoos too. Yeah. Three white magic. Communication. Oh, can under communicate understandably with a willing target. So I guess that's if we can't you talk, talk to animals. To yeah, or like don't know their language or something. Or you can talk to uh, the dead who speak in Dedenesian. Yeah. After activities on Friday, each class has a scheduled time to come to the gym, where the officer, yeah, where the officer candidates will make their final speeches before elections. Since we can't vote in the senior election, there's no reason for us to have to listen to their speeches or vice versa. The freshman slot is the last one in the day. First up are the candidates for freshman class president. Minnie Cochran climbs up onto the stage looking bright-eyed and enthusiastic and says a bunch of stuff about offering a helping hand to other students. Everyone applauds. I'm suspicious of her already. Then Suki Sato wanders up and starts talking about how she found a caterpillar once that turned into a lizard instead of a moth or something like that. It's a little hard to follow. Oh, and apparently the spirits told her to run for president. Or some spirits. She's not sure which ones. Everyone applauds, but not as loudly. <laughs> After that come the presentations for treasurer. Jacob Blazing, the Blazing Fire, struts up and gives a very brief speech about how money is obviously in safe hands with him, and he knows how to spend it, too. You're trying too hard, Jacob. But I like his style. Wasn't he the guy the, that jumped the, the, the up the and sang? Style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's the second one. It's because he looks like he's got glasses and short hair. <laughs> I don't know. No, his arms are crossed. I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Nah. Uh, and that wink. It's that wink, isn't it? He's just so cocky. He's like, I'm smiling and winking. You can't not like me. <laughs> I'm right. so cocky, you hate me. Uh, I'm thinking of those, like... Those... What, what, what do you call those? His voices where it's all like, uh... Like that kind of old timey like guy like in Family Guy, the two dudes, the guy on the piano and the other guy. And like in uh, My Little Pony, the two the two Apple brothers or whatever that come with the cider machine. How they have that kind of like fast talking salesman pitch. Oh, okay. But it's kinda like old timey, like I'm thinking that kind of voice is how he talks. Okay. But I can't think of how to talk in that right now. Yeah, neither can I. Now it's Ellen's turn. Hello. 
She does a better job of the speech than I would have expected, considering how nervous she was earlier. William probably helped her write it. Everyone claps, and Virginia and I howl loudly for her. At last, it's time for the actual voting. The previous Everyone, one was just for fun. Yeah. I wonder, like, if she gets elected, I wonder if she wouldn't get elected if we didn't help hand out stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm just curious how much this stuff actually affects what goes on. Everyone lines up single file in the hallway leading to one of the classrooms. One at a time, we go inside to cast our votes. 